I think my favorite part about teaching is that you get to be part of these kids' aha moments. The benefits to this type of learning is that you're really asking the students to think. You're not asking them to give you the right answer. You have to plan Amanda's trip from her grandpa and mother's house in Mexicali all the way to America. You have to figure out how she's going to get there. It's not about memorizing. And when I give them something new, it's not about teaching them a new task. It's about them applying those critical thinking skills to something else. Inquiry for me is using questions or using, better said, curiosity, our natural curiosity, to follow what we want to learn. One is a hammer, and that's a feather. In a minute, or in a second, they will let them fall. If you use your own curiosity, you are ready to, to find information up to the point you feel satisfied with. Now you are a scientist. What's going to happen? Like everybody in the classroom having his, her own, let's say, what, what is the name for Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Good job. Inquiry-based learning puts students' questions in the middle. So those are the most important things. What are they interested in finding out? What do they want to know? What kind of evidence would you want to see? Both. How many people who smoke don't die of smoking related diseases? You don't just want any questions, you want good questions. So you give them a certain topic or a certain, what we sometimes call artifacts, or a, a little video clip or a picture of something or, or some text that then gets them started thinking about a topic. I give them things that drive their curiosity. Had these uh, vacations where they're looking at maps or they're looking at cooking books, they're looking at Spanish uh, English dictionaries or measuring tools, and they're coming up with questions. They're the ones who are touching and they're the ones who are talking and they're the ones who are discussing things. And I just get to pop in from group to group and listen to what they're saying and ask them questions to make them think a different way, but it's their experiences that are forming their understanding. Hopefully. A student will not reject anymore the process of learning. Can you please try to compare the weight of this book to this one? It's lighter. What is your prediction? Valerie? Faster, we are on earth. Yeah, this is really working, this is really causing a positive effect on their education. Maybe our task is not now anymore to to give them a lot of information, but creating them the feeling of searching for information. So we're not trying to give students pre-chewed little tiny bits of information that they memorize and give back to us, but it's looking deeper than that at reflection, at um, creativity. That's the important thing in inquiry-based learning too, is that it's the students that are active. They're the ones doing the thinking and learning and, and um, communicating.